This is the new 25mm T2.0 anamorphic Orion from Atlas. Cinema 5D at NAB 2019 is brought to you by b &H, the professional source for all your video needs. CVP, the leading specialist in creative cine, video and photo solutions. Fujifilm, value from innovation. Tilta, arm your camera. And SERP, better films. Hey everybody, I'm Grant Miller Sheldon. Welcome to Cinema 5D and our continuing coverage of NAB 2019. I'm here with Dan from Atlas Lens Co. to talk a little bit about his new prototype 25 millimeter anamorphic as well as a new adapter. So uh, Dan, can you walk me through both of them? Sure, so uh, this year we're showcasing our new 25 millimeter Orion series T2 anamorphic prime lens. And this is a really unique lens because it's hard to find a really good wide angle lens this wide in anamorphic. So a 25 millimeter is approximately a 12 and a half millimeter horizontal field of view with a two times anamorphic like ours. Incredibly wide and relatively low distortion for such a wide lens. Now Dan, I think by now most people are familiar with the characteristics of uh, shooting anamorphic, but what makes Atlas Lens Company just a little bit different? I understand your price point is also very competitive. Yeah, so when Forrest and I started this project together, uh, we identified that we wanted to offer something for modern cinematographers that would be relatively affordable and provide many of the vintage characteristics that we like, like oval bokeh, really nice flares, and beautiful shallow depth of field. We also wanted to change some of the things we don't like about some vintage lenses, like field curvature, which is if you're focused at the center at six feet, your focus fall off might be more on the edges, so you might lose focus uh, and it would be shorter, like around four feet or five feet on the sides. So we designed these to have very flat field curvature and for anamorphic, extremely low distortion. Very cool. So just from my own understanding, where do you find those vintage characteristics? Where is the lens sharpest? What T-stop? Can you give me a little bit more detail? Sure. So we designed these to have something of a vintage character if you're shooting them wide open at a T2. Uh, anywhere from a T2 to like a 2.6 they might have a little bit more spherical aberration akin to a vintage lens. Um, and if you're stopped down to about a 2.8 or a 2.84 split, you'll find that they really clean up but still have some of those vintage characteristics like the flares you might want in the oval bokeh still. Okay, so beyond the 25 millimeter, you also have an extender, an adapter right behind you here. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, I'm happy to. So we're also showcasing our new LF extender product. The LF extender will allow you to cover large format sensors such as the Airy LF, Red Monstro, Vista Vision, Sony A7 and Venice system, and Kinefinity Mavo LF uh, with edge to edge coverage on all of those sensors. So you have really a massive image circle using it, and that works with all of our lenses 32 through 100 millimeter. Um, what's the price of the stuff you already have, you're already shipping? What's the extender going to cost? Any idea about pricing on the 25 millimeter yet? We haven't set a price for the 25 yet, but we're hoping we can keep it in line with the relatively affordable pricing of the rest of our series. The 40 millimeter, 50 millimeter, 65 millimeter, 80 millimeter, and 100 millimeter lenses all cost around 8,000 US dollars. Uh, the 32 millimeter is around 9,000 US dollars. And the extender is uh, $2,000 list price. And if you buy it with any one lens or a set of lenses, it's 1,850 US dollars. Very cool. Well, I always feel a little bit guilty asking this, especially at NAB, because a brand new prototype here, brand new extender there. But what does the roadmap in terms of development look like for you guys over the next one to three years without giving too much away? What does the future look like for you guys? That's a fantastic question. I mean, first of all, I have to say the future is going to be bright. But right now we're focused on mainly getting all the lenses that we can to all the customers who want them and have pre-ordered them. So we work on a pre-order deposit-based system for delivery. and. Uh, yeah, we're just focused right now on delivering to everyone who's ordered them. They're delivering steadily, but you know, people have high demands, so we want to meet those demands. And I don't think we have any plans to make any spherical lenses. We really love focusing on the anamorphic niche. It's our passion. It's our dream. Um, but you never know. Yeah. yeah, well, I think anamorphic's really having a moment, so that sounds like a good idea to, to me. So thank you very much, Dan. Stay tuned to Cinema5D.com for more continuing coverage from NAB 2019. Win $5,000 worth of gear in our NAB 2019 giveaway together with Serp and Joby. You can win a Genie 3X's Pro Slider Epic Kit, a Magic Carpet Carbon Fiber Slider, and a Gorilla Pod with Genie Mini. To enter the giveaway, simply click the link below and follow the instructions. All winners will be drawn on April 30th. Good luck and stay tuned to Cinema 5D.